The latest cosmetic ban in Europe may have you rethinking your next trip to the nail salon. The European Union announcing this week that it is banning the use of a key chemical ingredient found in some gel nail polishes and other cosmetics. European regulators, they are classifying the chemical as a, quote, reproductive toxin. And they say it responds to lights such as those UV lights that many salons use to set the nail polish. Local dermatologist Dr. Lindsay Dolahanty is joining me now to go over how cosmetics shape our health and perhaps our future. Maybe we should, you know, think about those visits coming up. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us and coming back to 21 News at 5. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so from your understanding of the ban and the potential toxic chemicals within the polish, what do you think the risks look like? So the clinical study showed that, sorry, the clinical study showed that um, in rats who were fed this chemical, TPO, they had an increased risk of infertility. So there has not been a clinical study showing this risk in humans. TPO has never been studied in humans, uh, but there is a risk of this chemical potentially in rats that showed infertility. So it's not directly applicable to humans. Uh, Europe was trying to be progressive, you might say, uh, and trying to prevent an issue. Um, I, I think it's an example of how every cosmeceutical used in moderation is reasonable, but nobody um, needs to worry that this is going to definitively cause infertility in a human. Okay, that's good to know. A lot of us are worried when we saw the headlines. We have the long name of that chemical that's banned. It's on the screen now. This is what the EU is telling people they're not going to be wanting them to use. They're going to ban it. We're also hearing that this came from those animal studies. So. You know, wondering, you know, you're not using nail polish on the animals, but let's say, you know, when you're applying the polish in a normal setting, is this a wake up call? Maybe we should look for alternatives. What do you think we should be doing instead? So there are nail polishes currently available, some gel nail polishes and then other nail polishes not used in gel manicures and pedicures that do not contain this chemical. So if somebody is interested in avoiding this chemical due to its potential risk, that is possible with cosmeceuticals currently available. Um, again, I think the risk is a potential risk, not a given risk. Um, so I'm not sure that it needs to be avoided, but if you were trying to be cautious, that is possible with what's available today. And the lamps, I think a lot of folks have questions, and since you're a dermatologist, you know, are those safe to use? Would you say typically over time you would voice to use those in moderation, not every so often? What's too much? I agree. And so those lamps potentially increase our risk of skin cancer on the hands, fingers and hands, uh, as well as would expedite the aging process, right? If you're shining a light uh, onto the hands. So I have had a gel manicure and gel pedicure before. I think it doesn't mean those have to be avoided, but understanding that there is some risk. Um, and so in moderation would be considered safe um, for the average patient. You could wear sunscreen on your hands before having those lamps shown on your hands. You could use a LED lamp rather than a UVA lamp, which would have lower risk, not no risk, but lower risk. Um, but I think in general, in moderation, it would be okay. And you know, we're seeing this trend with the clean makeup, the clean cosmetics. What would you advise people to eliminate if they're trying to go that route with things these days? Right, so clean tends to mean, and I, I mean clean in parentheses, or in quotes, tends to mean um, no chemicals or less chemicals, but it doesn't mean no allergens. So you can have natural products, um, fragrances, flowers, things like that, that are included in these clean products that can still aggravate the skin while trying to avoid chemicals. Um, so clean doesn't mean that it can't aggravate the skin, it just means that it avoids certain chemicals. All right, doctor, great advice as always. You're such a good expert on this. Thank you for joining us and explaining what we need to know. And like you said, moderation, definitely something everyone has to keep in mind. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Have a nice day.